back to my channel if you're new and not yet subscribed please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so today we are going to start decision tree so let's see the definition of decision tree a decision tree is a non-parametric supervised learning algorithm which is utilized for both classification and regression tasks it has hierarchical tree structure which consists of a root node branches internal node and the leaf node if you see here age is the root node and master phd bachelor's these are the next level is considered to be as branches and the last but the target or the decision we make they are known as root nodes okay now i think you, everybody is uh, familiar with the uh, with the term card if not it's nothing but classification and regression trees. Now, under CART, we have two kind of decision trees. Decision tree classifier, decision tree regressor. Decision tree regressor gives us a continuous variable, okay? A continuous value such as 100, 300, 500 or any number. At, or, or it can also be a dichotomous number, 0 or 1, a binary classification. Uh, decision tree classifiers are very well uh, used and it's, you know, a decision tree is one of the best, uh, you know, it's way similar how our mind works in order to solve a particular problem. For example, let's see. Now, if we have a data, degree, experience, salary, if you see, so just think in a in our way okay if you see the data you can clearly say okay if somebody is having phd has the higher salary compared to others right so similarly decision tree works for us it is very easy uh, to see the data and solve because there are only just three columns and uh, you know just four rows but what if you have 50 columns and many other rows right it's really hard now let's see how actually this decision tree works. If you see in degree, there are uh, three distinct categories, masters, PhD and bachelors. Whereas in experience, there are different number of experiences. And in salary, you have 150K and this is our target variable. Salary is our target variable. So if you see, if you look at masters and PhD and bachelors, the one who is having phd has more uh, has more salary so simply by starting our tree a degree at uh, has a root no uh, as a parent node uh, as a root node we can we can uh, simply solve this decision tree problem so as the randomness of categories decreases there is a decrease in entropy so entropy is nothing but we can simply say it's a randomness uh, of the data in a particular column and lower the entropy higher the information gain so if something like this okay if we, uh, uh, in our way in our terms if you put into the in, in this form uh, in this sentence let's say a, a, a person with phd has more uh, salary compared to masters and bachelors it, it's so simple right so <clears throat> if if uh, if a decision tree could classify uh, uh, such an information if, if it could extract such an information it says it has high information gain S high information is ga high information gain uh, comes when there is a, a reduction in the uh, randomness in the data if you see there are five three two nine and there are different kind of values there are different random values whereas here we just have three and look by just looking at these uh, these three we can simply uh, tell what kind of salary so first we will start with degree then we'll go with experience then we'll try to end salary as our leaf node now let's try to work on a similar and simple problem using python i'm not really going uh, decision trees in depth but I, I just want to give you a concept overview how it works and remaining SK learns machine learning library, which is a machine learning library where you call decision tree. That's going to work. That's going to do every, every task for you. You, you are not going to, uh, you know, think, but we'll see how to play with depth of the tree and different kind of hyper parameters in the decision tree. And let's look at the, uh, efficiency score of it. So now let's see, uh, what, what does our, uh, how, how do we perform decision trees in Python? 
uh, first we'll try to run all the cells on our Jupyter notebook. Then I'll try to explain uh, what does what what would you do in an each cell. Okay. So first, in my first cell, I'm trying to import uh, the required Python packages such as pandas, matplotlib. And here at this time, I'm importing uh, requests and IO because every time I, well, I'm, whenever I'm giving a machine learning tutorial, you know, uh, I'm using a file from the local uh, system, which is already on my local system, such as CSV file or Excel file. But this time we'll try to use, we, tr we uh, will try to call our data set from a particular website from a URL and we'll try to pull it uh, from that end. So for that, I'm, I'm importing request and IO. In the next cell, we have given the URL, uh, we are pulling the data, uh, we are trying to uh, send the requests from that URL to get the content and then we are reading it in data format, uh, in a data frame. So if you see in our data set, we do have petrol tax, average income, paved highways, population driver license and petrol consumption, right? So here our target set, target data is petrol consumption. We are trying to predict petrol consumption from the different uh, this thing. So remember, uh, you can apply any machine learning algorithm on it. Uh, as it is a regression, you can see our target variable is a continuous and the remaining attributes may or may not have uh, you know a proper cor correlation with our target variable so you can try using a multilinear regression logistic regression uh, if that suits not exponential because that's not a classification problem uh, so yeah even uh, so now we are going to try uh, uh, using decision trees so the features i'm going to uh, pull them into x variable petrol consumption i'm going to pull it in y so here you can see our x and y now using train test and split i'm going to split the uh, my data set size uh, with a test size of three percent so i'm going to uh, split the data set as train x train x test y train y test okay now let's import decision trees and let's start a mo uh, basic model without passing any kind of hyper parameters now when I say hyperparameters, there are a couple of parameters which you need to keep in mind for decision trees, such as depth of a tree and also criteria. Okay, if you remember, I, I, I did explain you guys that um, a decision tree uh, uh, will split its branches based upon the information gain. Now, I, I told you information gain uh, depends upon the entropy, randomness of data. So there is another, there's something called as gene impurity too, where even the uh, information ca uh, gain can depend on a gene impurity. Now, for now, we'll try to see uh, how does our basic model perform. So I'm going to import fit the X train and Y train and I'm going to predict X test. And let's look at our plot. If you see, it has almost like one, it's starting with one uh, root node and it, it, it has something like one, two, three, four, five. It has almost like five branches. The depth of the tree is five branches, but uh, it's not clear. I don't want this many branches. Now I'm going to play with one of the hyper parameters that is max depth. So I don't want these many branches. Instead, I just want three, okay? So let's see what happens if I give max depth as three into my decision tree uh, regressor. Uh, just give it a minute it's loading all right if you see our decision tree uh, now is a bit smaller because we have reduced the size of uh, depth of the tree right so if you see the first root node it's taking as petrol tax right and uh, according to its decision and uh, the accuracy or we can say uh, the evaluation metric it's taking here is squared error and then uh, from here it's going to paved highways and again average income into the uh, for the next branch for the first branch and the second branch it's taking average income and for the last but not its root node right so you have uh, I, I've, I've told you the max depth is three but why is it just having one or two because 
here you can say this is 0 1 2 so this is how the branch hierarchy is being counted not from 1 but but rather it's being counted from 0 okay now let's see for 4 or 2 but remember uh, we are only going to choose the ma max depth try to see how good your model is performing what is the accuracy score we can uh, take the metrics accuracy and we can see but uh, to make it simple i'm not doing it here but uh, instead of randomly giving max depth try to uh, try to uh, give it two or three different values and see which is performing well uh, okay then there's something also called as criteria uh, in, in in criteria you can uh, uh, make the decision tree divide its subdivisions uh, based upon entropy or genie impurity index end of the moment it's only going to see the information gain but what kind of value does the information gain uh, sh uh, should be given you can enter it by giving a criteria okay now you see i have only given a max depth of 2 and let's see here look now this is more simplified way but i don't really think my model is going to perform uh, very well but try playing with some parameters and uh, you know uh, or and also if you want to increase accuracy not only playing with hyper parameters is a good thing but try to see what are the best attributes to choose look at its variance there i'll do explain i'll i'll create a complete uh, explanation video on feature engineering uh, feature selection uh, how to do feature selection what kind of uh, what are the methods is it wrapper filter there are many other ways which i i, I have I've, i'll explain you but right now to make it simple i have given you are uh, given you a overall uh, concept what is decision trees and how they how, uh, how, do, how do they work and one more concept i'll just cover in a second uh, it's called uh, pruning pruning is nothing but if you see uh, let's say i i want to reduce the overfitting of my model so let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's see in our basic example let's go to our uh, basic example which is salaries and from there we'll see what is pruning now to explain pruning you can see here from degree uh, this is our uh, normal uh, decision tree and this is a decision tree which is after uh, pruning okay uh, from the degree we do have masters bachelors and phd from that if the experience is greater than 5 it's 100k if the experience is less than 5 then it's 120k and uh, similarly if there is if the experience is so and so uh, it's 100k if the experience is below then it's uh, 120k but here if you see uh, when when it comes to phd there is no further distinction of a particular branch uh, there is no further splitting so i don't want this to happen i don't i don't want my tree to grow unnecessarily uh, into another branch so instead of this i just want to make it if we, if if it's psd it's it's more than or equal to 150k right my decision tree wants that so after pruning my decision tree looks something like this so pruning is not nothing but what we are trying to do is reduce the tree branches uh in, in, instead of growing into further depth unnecessarily if it doesn't have any uh further splitting then i'm trying to reduce the depth of it so that is what printing is so if if you like this uh, video if you get the concept uh, please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the further notifications thank you